What's up guys, I'm back with a quick series here, Zerg vs. Terran, high octane, fast games. That's all we're gonna have here with speed spawning down in the bottom right. We've got Jadong here at the top center and these are some of my favorite types of games. If you concur, if you agree, let me know in the comments down below. I love to see some wild back and forth in the early game between Zerg and Terran. It's some of the most fun, exciting stuff that we get in Brood War. So I've picked out a series here for you guys that should give us a bunch of those type of games. Nothing long, no you know, huge macro games with massive armies. Everything tactical, early game maneuvering here. And we've already got some moves coming out of Jadong. He's going to be throwing down a pool first with the extractor trick, getting up to 10 drones. He doesn't send the 10th drone out to scout. Instead, he's just going to mine with it here. As you can see, this is one of those maps. This is uh, Apocalypse. We have the 10 mineral start. So he's able to take full advantage of that 10th drone by having 10 drones with their own private mineral patch. And Overlord going to make it over here. So he doesn't actually need that scout. He's going to come over and find out that this is a pretty normal opener from speed. It's funny that he left this bit of a space here. I wonder if this is open. I feel like you have to put this one hex up, but I'm not sure about that. This might actually be Ling Tight, um, although it doesn't look like it at all. Uh, I think we're going to see another Supply Depot over here, but I'm not sure. He is going to have to hold these Lings, though. Six Lings going to be coming across the map right away. He spots that with the SCV, and he will go ahead and start his Marine production. He needs to get a couple of SCVs over here to block this little space, but he should be able to do that no problem. Seeing all these Lings coming is actually a very good sign for speed as long as he holds this properly as long as he gets scvs in the wall here and gets a second marine out in time uh this shouldn't deal any damage and if that's the case then we're gonna see jadong uh falling behind in a deficit here yeah he's gonna try to come forward and go after this scv nice repair and the second scv bring being brought up to hold that spot one scv kill is all that jadong is gonna get and he's really slowing himself down here, like a lot. You can see 10 drones uh, total here. He does throw down two hatches. I'm not sure how he was able to afford both these hatches, but I guess the gas is a little bit later here. It's not like he's going to get a super, super quick uh, layer out of this one. Instead, he's going to start to drone up really hard and try to take this into a healthy mid-game position. Um, with the extra larva that's going to come from this hatchery, he should be able to drone up pretty heavily, but it's also going to give an opportunity here for speed to come out and challenge him. We've got, what, five lings left and four marines here. The SCV is chasing. He's going to target down the best that he can. Really good targeting here from speed so far, but that was not the greatest. Um, he does manage to win this fight, though. Hey, and he should be able to get the overlord as well. That's a big, big win here for speed. A little bit of crazy micro there to pulling back those two marines and keeping both of them alive only one ends up going down um how will jadong be responding to this well he's gonna go ahead and start his lair he only has a few lings out right now four lings total and no sunken colony i think that's just what speed saw so speed he's not gonna be able to push out right now with all these injured marines but once he gets this uh, academy online you can bet he's gonna start to push and uh, force some more of a reaction here from Jadong. Jadong did build, build two more lings here, so he's up to six. And he's really starting to drone hard now. You can see six drones on the way. He's going to go up to a pretty hefty drone count before switching into Muta here, but the lair is not even done yet, so we've got plenty of time for speed to get all of his ducks in a row, make sure that he's got everything he needs to defend that. And maybe even do a little push across the map to start to pressure Jadong. Academy just about done. Everything's been pushed back just a, a few seconds here on both sides because of that early pressure with the six lings. But everything looking healthy here on both sides. You can see Jadong really bumping up that drone count by quite a lot. I might actually want to go back and learn this build from Jadong. It seems like a pretty decent build versus... Uh, what we've been seeing lately, which is that 8 racks. So many players are going for the 8 racks these days. 
Uh, if he had kept the Overlord over here, he would have had a really good build, I think. He would have had a pretty decent position, but unfortunately he lost that Overlord trying to retreat. And I'm not really sure what that was all about. Must have been caught in a supply group, uh, uh, control group or something. I'm not sure. But uh, that is quite unfortunate. They ended up losing that Overlord and he's managed to recover pretty well out of it. But this does seem like a pretty sweet build. Um, six minutes, still not done with the Spire though. Right? This, with the pool first, you'd usually see a very fast Spire behind it. But with this build, what he's done, he's actually going to get the Spire out just slightly later than you would with a regular... Oh, the Ling run by here. Getting into the main. With a regular 2.5 hatch, you would have the Mutas already coming out right now. But uh, here, he just doesn't quite have that. The Ling run by is very, very smart, though. He gets a couple of SCVs. He slows down some of the buildings there. You know, delaying that extra barracks is nice. He's forcing the Marines to run around and chase this all inside the main. This is a really great move by Jadong, and he's delayed quite a bit. At least long enough for him to get all of his mutas out and on the field without, you know, taking any pressure, without being forced into any sunkens, which is a huge bonus here for Jadong, taking a base down in the bottom left now and sending the mutas across the map. We've got some turrets up here and the small army on the high ground. This is not a huge amount of mutas just yet. And as soon as he pumps out six mutas, he starts the Hydralist den. So starting that tra uh, transition pretty fast, is that because of what he saw in the main? Yeah, he saw five racks. So it's very important that when you see that five racks immediately transitioning into Lurker is gonna be key here. Now heading back with the Mutas, he actually spent a little bit too much time, I guess, uh, attacking here into the natural and Speed might have an opportunity to possibly end this game right here, right now. Drone comes out to try and throw down the Evo Chamber or something to try and block. He's gonna pull drones to fight the Marines right now, but the Sunken Colonies are going down really, really fast. That Sunken Colony falls. The uh, second Sunken Colony goes down and the third as well. The Mutas are finally here, but they're gonna have to trade pretty badly in order to clear up this or this uh, Marine force here. Great targeting overall by speed. Yeah, even gonna pick off one of these as it pops out. And he's also sending another group of Marine down to the bottom right hand corner bottom left hand corner excuse me with a bunker down here as well dude this is such good play by speed jadong has to tap out really great control here and just overall game plan from speed knowing exactly what to do when those middle started to harass he pulls the trigger on the counter attack arrives just before the sunken colonies are all in place Bust that front and sends a group of Marines down to the bottom left just to jump in a bunker and start to pressure that third. I love it. Speed, 10 minute flash here. Before the 10 minute mark, he plays like flash and he's showcased it here this game, but we've got plenty more coming up here, guys. This is a long series, so strap in, get ready, get a snack. We're going to jump into game number two. What did I tell you? High octane gameplay here with speed versus Jadong in game number two. We've got Jadong down here in the bottom right. We are in retro. Let's see if he wants to do another nine pool here uh, with the extractor trick. I like the build. Um, unfortunately, he stayed a little bit too long with his mutas. Uh, tried to get some extra damage there, but speed was uh, just so decisive with his moving across the map with the Marines. And the sunken colonies, they do take some time to build. A little bit more time, I think, than it takes to cross Apocalypse. Uh, if this was like, uh, if, if we were, for example, on this map, and the same exact events occurred, and for example, speed was up here, cross map, you can start the sunken colonies as you go in with the mutas, and the marines start to move out. You start the sunken colonies, they will be done in time uh, as the Terran player arrives, but Apocalypse just a little bit closer in terms of the map distance and yeah it is it is what it is he isn't able to get those up in time speed getting a nice quick win there and it's going to be a completely different game now here on retro we've got a 12 hatch out of jadong with the wall in here once again from speed this is a much better opener for jadong overall we're gonna have more options 
Um, it's just not as good against eight racks, and that's why we don't see it as much these days. It's the eight racks meta, guys. It is influencing everything in this matchup right now. So, unfortunately, a, a lot of players are being forced into playing kind of weird styles with very early pools. Not the case here. Jadong is going to take a risk, hope that an eight racks isn't coming, and go for his older school standard this is like the standard from two years ago or one year ago even the 12 hatchery play with the follow-up gas and pool he did throw his uh, overlord just straight across the map and he will get it over top of the natural of speed which is always very very nice no gas here for speed he will be taking a cc very quickly now um and just sitting behind this wall getting into uh, his SCV production, and he shouldn't be able to take any damage, and I don't think that uh, he'll be dealing any damage here either, although he is moving across the map with a few Marines, so you got to be careful of this. Um, we don't have any Lings out yet, but he is producing four, so as soon as those four Lings are out, these Marines should turn around and head home. These, uh, this push out here with the Marines is really just in case... Jadong didn't build any lings. If he was just getting super greedy, he wasn't building lings right now, the SCV would have seen that, and then we could have had potential here uh, for the Marines to deal a little bit of damage. But that's just not the case. Uh, sometimes I wonder uh, what would, you know, what would happen if we built all drones from the main and all lings from the natural and just try to fake out our Terran opponent uh, when he's got the SCV in the main. Uh, this, these are difficult concepts but you know if the marines are pushing across and we know that the opponent is going to push across with marines we can try some of these kind of small tricks to make them think that oh you didn't build any lings i can go in now and then there's you know four six lings waiting in the natural and they just kill all the marines um splitting up the lings here going into the main base he managed to run around this which hasn't gotten him anything here just yet but he's seeing the entirety of the build right now for the Terran player and that's already some uh, big value out of these four lings he's forced all the marines back he hasn't had to build any more lings whatsoever and he's seen the entirety of the build 2.5 hatch is the build choice here for Jadong and it seems like we wanted to go for an academy rush but that was delayed slightly uh, by an SCV just killing off, or by by Lynx killing off an SCV there. That's pretty decent here for Jadong. And we'll see if he's able to clutch this to close this game here with an advantage uh, over speed. Speed going to start to move out. These are naked Marines. They do not have the cover of medics. And the academy is not even close to done here just yet. So he's probably going to have to build a medic after this next Marine. Uh, if he wants to get the medic right away, he might just wait on that uh, academy to finish. But sunken colony done. I know it looks like a lot of marines, but with just one sunken colony, you can kill every single marine here. There is an opportunity to maybe try to like run by the sunken colony, but we don't even have stim. The sunken is just going to two-shot marines one by one. And so basically Jadong just gets to sit here with only one sunken colony. He can just sit, chill, build a ton of mutas he's already just been busting out drones like crazy he only built four lings this game he is in a fantastic spot right now and this mutalisk harassment is going to be very very hard to hold uh these are jadong mutas and he hasn't been harassed or slowed down at all this game he's really on top of things he's gonna send them all directly across the map with more and more being added. No transitionary tech here just yet. And no third base either. He will send out that drone though now. And we're going to see this mutilisk harassment begin. We've already got six. There's the seventh. This is perfect timing here. Jadon going to get in. Start to deal that damage. You can see about six minute 20 is when the seven mutas arrive. And he's going to go to work on a turret. Does manage to pick that off. Some pretty good repairing there, but not quick enough. We almost lost a Muta, but we are still sitting on that 7. So just backing away here. Monitoring this force over by his natural. Jadong actually has to turn around now. 
He was actually, he was building a round of drones and he didn't build any more sunken colonies. He's only got one sunken here in the natural. Oh boy, oh boy, speed. Is he actually gonna get in here and kill? This is really scary right now. I think there's enough lings and mutas behind this to potentially just pick this off, but he's gonna get a few drone kills for sure. All right, he's just targeting down drones right now. He gets about four, five drones, something like that. So dealing a significant amount of worker damage, but losing his entire group of Medic Marine. Well, this bought him enough time to put up his turrets once again. He should be able to get a couple more here at the natural. He's building two more in the main base over top of the barracks as well, because he's only on two barracks. He really does have to be careful building a bunker as well here at the front. I think this is a really nice heads up play by Speed to build that bunker right now, because otherwise he could be in a very bad position. Jadon going to go around the back here. There's so many turrets. Really good, smart stuff here by Speed. Recognizing that, you know, he threw away that small clump of Marines for uh, just potentially like a massive amount of drone damage. Oh God, but he's losing this turret here. And now this position is open. A very brutal position to try and bring Marines into or try to creep turrets into either because you can't really creep turrets along here. Uh, to get this position reestablished, you have to be very careful uh, with this spot right now. Jadong has lodged himself up here in the top right hand corner and he's killing so many SCVs. He's really delaying everything and he's not allowing him to mine gas either, which not the biggest deal right now. We've still got 250 gas, but it will become an issue as we start to build out the starports, right? We need those starports to come into play here pretty soon and that's really the timer the ticking timer that will eventually uh, lead to these mutas being uh, ineffective in terms of harassment. But without that gas, you're never going to start that timer. Seems like he's back on the gas now. He hasn't added more turrets just yet, but the marine count is growing. We're adding on more barracks here. We're going to float this uh, starport over and maybe start a... Uh, what's this? What's that called? Um, armory. No, he starts a science facility instead. Science facility on the way. He should be starting another starport here really, really soon as well. Vita's harassing. Slowing things down. Baiting out Marines to take some trades here. Jadong has reestablished his drone count really, really well. He has Hive on the way. Armor is coming up here as well. Speed is going to need a miracle here to take down Jadong. Even though he did some damage on the drones, even though he defended that properly, the uh, counterattack, he's been slowed down quite a bit. And his marine count has been reset, so he's on a very small number of marines. And if Jadong brings together a big Ling force to pair with these mutas, and Speed gets caught out on the map and loses all of this, he is going to be in a very, very bad way. So, Jadong sharking around this. He's looking for an opportunity to wipe this out. If he just makes a few more links while well, he's making lurkers back at home. So, he does have defenses against uh, any sort of marine bust here. But, Speed, I think he's realized that he is in a dangerous situation. You cannot be sending this across the map. He's putting it out there to uh, feign... An attack here to try to make it feel like uh, there's some danger out on the map that maybe speed could head down to the bottom left and there's not a lot of defense over here so it's forcing Jadong to not just constantly harass his uh, mineral lines or his buildings well this uh, supply depot will end up going down we've got the first vessel out and irradiate is almost done two starports are finished now finally and we've got the barracks count way up so speed is ready for this next phase of the game, but we're past the 10 minute mark. Can 10 minute flash take a decent or even mid game against Jadong and turn it into a winning late game? I'm not so sure about it. Jadong has been playing this out properly. He has lots of lurkers. He's got all his mutas still. Oh, there's the first radiate. Whoa, he loses a lot here. Just as I said, all his mutas, a ton of them end up going down. So he's not going to have as good of drop defense, but Scourge already in position. And we're taking the third or fourth base already. 
So Jadong really starting to spread out on the map. Drop ships are being made. Speed is going to have to pull something out here. He's got like, as I've said many times before, he's got about three to five chances to make something happen before Jadong just gets out of control with his four gas. So let's see what his first move is going to be here. It's definitely some drop ships, but are they spotted right now? Does he know about this? Just barely not. They're just barely out of range. And we will keep an eye on these areas here where we know that Jadong has that vision. You can see they're moving through the middle of the map right now. Jadong has no idea about that, but he does have a good position here in the main to defend. What about over here? Down in the bottom right, a lot of stuff is ready here. Oh god, is Speed going to try for it? He scans, he sees it. He sees what's available here. He knows that this is not a good spot to try and dive into. He does come forward and irradiate. Get rid of one of these defilers anyway, but Dark Storm comes down. He's going to go for the natural. This natural attack is pretty wild. Oh man, he's going to lose these drop chips, I think. Oh wow, he actually keeps two of them alive. I was not expecting that. Two drop chips do manage to stay alive here. Remove that. Do they have any units in them? Yeah, it looks like they do. Oh, uh, that was so many Scourge that ended up going down. Some really good uh, maneuvering by speed. He actually breaks through the natural here while the distraction is going on in the main. Meanwhile, a drop down here at the bottom left as well. Speed is everywhere right now, but more lurkers burrowing over here. And the Dark Swarm comes down on the main mineral line. Everything kind of getting cleaned up except for this base. Well, this base gets cleaned up as well now. So pretty well done here by Jadong, just holding on everywhere. And Speed, although he was really close to breaking everything open, he created a lot of chaos. He didn't manage to split Jadong in two here. He didn't deal the final blow. Which you really need to do with these four or three to five chances that Speed's gonna have. That was chance number one. He took a swing, it missed. What's the next swing going to be here? Another drop coming over here. Looks like he loaded that back up. He's trying to make it in behind the natural. It's not going to work. Some vessels coming forward. They do get picked off by some of these Scourge now. I think we've got Plague here. As Metasynaptic Node is now on the way. So you never get that before you get Plague. They will get a nice Plague here. No, he actually goes for the... Dark Swarm. Lings are cleaning up a lot of these Marines, but the Marines are holding their own pretty well. Plus two is done. Let's take a look at the Terran base. Still pretty much where we were at about two to three minutes ago. Um, still the same production facility. He's just getting his third base online. Continuing those upgrades, but paying very close attention, you know, spending all of his attention here on trying to break open Jadong. This is his next chance. What is he going to do with it? Jadong is preparing. He does not have a lot here in the main uh, in terms of drop defense, but there's not a lot of drops on the map either. I think Jadong's realized, you know, you can't just keep making drops forever. You have to go back into, uh, you know, some vessel production eventually. Otherwise, you're just not going to have any vessels to, to fight me with. So... Realizing that, he's going to kind of evacuate the main a little bit. He does build some more Scourge. This area is a little bit rough right now. He's only got two Lurkers in this spot, and I don't see a Defiler either. Can he get a couple more Radiates down here to actually break this? Four armor is done. That's just barely enough for Jadong to hold on for now, but hold up. More Marines making their way down here. The rallies of Jadong... Uh, the rallies of Speed overcoming the rallies of Jadong here a little bit. One more Dark Swarm comes down. Nice target. Very nice target on those Scourge. Keeping this one vessel alive. He should irradiate the Defiler here. Since he's managed to keep that uh, in this natural. Can't believe we're not going to see that. Really does need to irradiate. Um, irradiate something. Oh my gosh. Alright, he does finally do that. More army coming down here. The, the trickle of Marines is not going to overcome this many Ultras, unfortunately. He's getting close to plus three attack. 
but it's not quite there yet. Even on the attack, two Carapace upgrades is not a good situation for Terran and losing more and more vessels here. This is where we start to see 10 minute flash really start to fall apart. He's coming in towards this natural. We don't have ultraless speed just yet. What if you fire bats in the mix here to deal with some of the lings that are piling up right now? Marines are gonna be kiting back and the ultras are being targeted down, but there's just not quite enough Marines here and a counter attack is now coming up. Bunker is here, but no repair on that means that that bunker is gonna go down very, very quickly. The reinforcement train coming forward one more time. He will be able to irradiate all of these ultras, but he's not got any more fire bats in this army. So I don't think he can push through just a few dark swarms and lings that have been thrown down by Jadong. Jadong gonna hold on down here and shut down the third base of speed. And Jadong is just getting completely out of control now. You can see that speed, He's got some great ideas. He's got some pretty decent control. But in these late game situations, Jadong is certainly superior. We're gonna have to see more kind of chaotic creation here from Speed. If he wants to take down a player of the caliber of Jadong, going to the late game is just not going to be an option. A hidden base over here at the center left. I don't know if that's gonna stay up here. I think Jadong a little bit too active on the map for that type of thing to uh, pan out. And even if it does pan out, the fifth gas is now up, which is just untenable. There's no way that we can handle five gas Jadong here. He's gonna have so many Lings and Ultras. It doesn't even matter if Defilers are present. He is going to overwhelm you with just those pure units. Um, no spells necessary. Irradiates are gonna come down here and a lot of these Ultras, but Jadong just gonna back away and wait for his next round of reinforcements. He's already got two more ultras on the way. His income is kind of insane and his third carapace upgrade is coming here as well. Plus three is done for speed. So at least he's managed to keep those upgrades going and he has the upgrade advantage for a little bit here. I don't know what these two vessels are doing. Maybe he wants to go for a racer trick. There it is. A racer gonna come down here. Um, unfortunately, Scourge are present plus the Spore, but he did manage to get quite a few kills on some of those drones. It's just unfortunately kind of a drop in the bucket at this point. 61 drones are here for Jadong and he is not gonna be stopped, man. He can remake those drones, no problem. Bust back up to 70 drones in no time flat. Bringing more defilers out here. Should get a plague on these vessels. He only gets two vessels, but it's fine. Drop another dark swarm here. Looks like that base was found out. And now Jadon going to try and take that location. He's going to take the six o'clock as well. And it's getting way too far out of control at this point. Jadon is massive. He's going to be pumping out, you know, five ultras at the same time now and although this base may end up getting taken out this entire army is going to end up getting trapped i think uh plus the counter attack can come through towards the 12 o'clock there's really nothing that speed can do to stop that and he is just about mined out completely so this is kind of a checkmate situation here i think jadong's done this very nicely he, he's seen the army move towards the six o'clock and he realizes well as long as i kill your 12 o'clock there's nothing you can do in this game you're just completely out of it because you've got no money you've got no mineral income at your natural or your main uh so that's just gg that's just checkmate there uh and he's gonna be fine still on five gases right now uh getting close to mining out of the natural gas of course natural okay that is uh the the main is mined out the natural is very close but he does come forward with another group of ultra surrounding this army Crushing it down. This is probably the longest game we're gonna see out of speed because I think he's gonna realize after this game There's really no way to take on Jadong in the late game. Dude, this guy is way too strong He's way too good at that mid game defense. You have to get a good position against him a breaking position against him because He is just not gonna give you a chance In that late game. Wow, we actually don't have anything mining over here. I might have to picture and picture some stuff because it seems like we had an eraser trick or something over here. Still, it's not really gonna matter. We've got 12 workers right now for speed. 
is kind of grasping at straws here as the ultras just clean down this army just whittle all this army down to a nub we've got like five marines here and nothing in production gg is called jadon takes this slightly longer game between him and speed getting a little bit of vengeance here after that bust in game number one all right speed stay in your lane buddy you know what it what it is you gotta kill this man jadon before 10 minutes or you're gonna be out of luck i think the reality should be setting in here speed it's time to get aggressive my dude gotta put the hurt on jadon early and these are some of the scariest terran players actually uh the ones that are Kind of desperate to end the game early. Um, of course, there's a scariness to the the kind of brick wall of a Terran player. Someone like Light, or someone, yeah, someone like Light, um, who just will not die, but just continues to wander forward, continues to lurch at you all game long there is that that kind of fear factor for that type of terran player but there's also the terrans like speed kind of like rush i think uh before he really came into his own for a long time he was that timing attack terran who would always try to bust through whatever defenses you had up his two racks play was insanely insanely good same vein here is speed and he's gonna open eight racks this time and meanwhile jadong is gonna go for a 12 hatch once again so we saw jadong you know assume that we were gonna have eight racks and then adapt and change up his build and now the changed build is gonna probably get him in trouble right now he's probably going to Take some serious damage from this eight racks if i had to guess it's gonna come down to the scv marine control and of course the drone control in this upcoming fight but speed has a very quick path to the base of jadong it's very it's really not a long distance here to rally these marines and he's gonna be bringing two scvs um he should be able to deal some sort of damage here. Not a lot of drones have been pulled just yet. We're going to go up to like that eight count. Six only, actually. Only bringing six. That's um, that's maybe not enough. I'm not sure. I would think that that's qu not quite enough here. He's going to get the surround on the Marines. He gets one Marine. That only loses... Oh, two drones, I think, went down there. Down to just four. I'm going to run one drone away that was quite badly injured. And throws down a sunken colony here. Two bunkers get built, though. Uh, that's a very scary push. Two bunkers here at the front. It really does become a serious issue here. Lings are going to run by. They need to get on the other side here to try and block more Marines from making their way to the front. The sunken colony is not going to be able to finish. Yeah, that sunken colony is a little bit too low here, which is 180 HP. How many Marines total do we have? We've got three Marines. We've got two Lings out here. He can absolutely stop these Marines from coming until we've got three. Once we've got three Marines, he's not going to be able to do too much about it. Coming forward with just one Marine. He's trying to put some pressure on here, trying to kill a drone uh, or just harass these Lings. Uh, more Lings are going to come out. And he's got enough now. He can actually do this. He's going to dive on top of this, bringing all the Lings back from the front. He's going to dive on top of this bunker and kill the Marines immediately. Then the second bunker should go down. Layer is already on the way. This is a great hold from Jadong. He's at only nine drones right now, but I'm sure he's feeling pretty good about dealing with that. He's just got to bring this drone back. Oh man, don't forget about that drone right there. We are so low on economy. That's a tenth of your economy here. Please send that back to work. Quite a few lings here at the front but a good block in the natural gonna prevent anything from happening there dude jadon come on man 
Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, Link's getting over this wall. Are you kidding me? That was crazy. The barracks, why did that lift off? I have no idea. It seemed like it was in the perfect position. He decided to lift it and set it back down again. Kind of wild there. But now that he's got enough Marines, he doesn't need the SCVs there in the wall. This drone is just sitting there forever. GG is called. Jadong taps out. I guess that was enough damage. I don't know. I don't know. Did you guys think that was uh, an early GG there? I kind of feel like it was an early GG. He definitely needed that extra drone. He really wasn't paying attention there. Um, maybe thinking that he had less drones than he really did um, because of that. Pretty unfortunate end here, but guys, since this was such a quick game, I've got a little bonus game for you here uh, coming right up. It's going to be our last game of this video, so stay tuned. Okay, the bonus game here. Effort spawning in the bottom right-hand corner versus speed. Another all-time great Zerg player going up against speed here. Another guy that I think you need to take out early if you want to stand any chance as 10-minute flash. We need to go for something like an 8-Rax. Maybe, uh, you know, some sort of crazy uh, early on attack. Maybe go like 1-1-1. One, one, one. I don't know. I don't know what he needs to do here. Effort is super, super scary. I think even scarier than Jadong, if I'm honest. Jadong is amazing, of course. But if I had to pick between the two, I think i pick Effort as one of my greatest of all time Zerg players. Effort here was suffering from a wrist injury. He's kind of back now. By the way, all the games that we saw today were from March. Oh, sorry, May 15th of 2024. So all very, very recent games. And Effort is back. He is blazing. 3.50 APM. 500 right now for speed, of course. Not effective APM. He's just kind of spamming right now. Um, but getting his hands warm here. Ready to play against this legend of a zerg and starting off with the 12 hatch no fear for the alien zerg I'm gonna throw that down expecting no eight racks and it's gonna be correct here no eight racks is on the way and surprisingly no wall either every game we've seen so far from speed he's built that wall whether it's eight racks or not and it's a pretty decent spot to build the wall here really not bad if you go supply depot supply depot um i think you can build a nice wall right there maybe you have one hex at the bottom that's open but with an scv in that wall you can definitely hold things off uh, so just a little surprising did not see him build the wall here but what's the follow-up what's the game plan right now it feels like cc one rack cc and it's kind of feeling like a 2.5 hatch here from effort but we'll see what he wants to do there's this spawning pool finishing up he's gonna get away with not really being too aggr or be being too early with the with the pool he's really delayed that a lot um with the 12 hatch i mean it, it feels so delayed now um just because of the meta we're in we're in the eight racks meta um this would usually be totally normal timing. You build two pairs of lings. That's totally fine. It just feels quite late now. But I think effort going to get away with it here. This is almost this is this is like pretty old school style here. What we're seeing out of speed right now. Um, the way he's building his barracks in the main base and two of them right side by side here. Um, I almost expect to see a Supply Depot right there. Because that's how Terran players really used to play a lot. Uh, back in the day. You just build Marines and you just sit right there with a Supply Depot. Make sure that you can't be overwhelmed by, you know, Ling Flood or something like that. Um, not as common today. Mostly people do the, the wall-in technique. That's much more common here these days. One Ling gonna run in. He sees everything. We're gonna see the academy. He sees no eBay yet. Uh, so he knows exactly what's coming. He knows that there's gonna be a five minute push. 
he knows that there's not going to be an early plus one. Um, and yeah, he can react to this. No problem. SCV gets lost out on the map and will find its way back into the main and probably the uh, probably the natural and the main here of effort. Spire coming up with no set, uh, third hatchery. So he's actually going to go, instead of 2.5, he's going to go ahead and throw a third hatch at another base right now. Couple lings making their way over here. Actually going to get a kill on a marine. Quite annoying here because speed is trying to move out right now. His naked marines will be forced back right at this moment where he would like to be pushing out with the seven marines and two medics. He's actually been forced back a little bit and now going to be sent across the map here. Two sunken colonies have been made. I wouldn't be surprised to see a scan here and him just turn around, although we don't have scanners. So I guess I would be surprised to see a scan <laughs> if we don't have scanners. That's uh, a little bit uh, a little bit strange. Well, one Ling here being chased infinitely by this SCV. Trying to slow down the engineering bay. If he gets that kill, oh my god, he got the kill. Oh no. Oh no, is speed not going to finish that? Oh, oh boy. That is brutal. Dude, that one Ling. That one Ling making all the difference here. But wait a second. Holy crap. He busts through. Okay. He gets in there. He's killing a lot of these mutas. That is wildness. He actually gets in here. He's dealing so much damage. The eBay still hasn't been finished though. Um, can he hold the counter attack? Because he's not even going to have one turret. He's not even going to have one turret here. I think he's about to realize that. I think he just realized it. Yeah, he's realized it. He's built the turret. The mutas are coming across the map. Five of them. A lot of damage was done here in the natural. I'm going to have to picture and picture that so we can see how much exactly the damage was. But this is actually so big. He's going to be able to dive these marines. And he should be able to kill the, the uh, SCV before the turret finishes. He does. If he had just a few more mutalists here, this uh, none of these turrets would finish and he would take over the main. But... Thankfully for speed, he killed some of these mutalists over here. Oh, he's sending in two more Marines. This is so smart. He sent these all the way around the map, risking death here. You know, risking losing control of his main to go ahead and get a little bit more damage. He kills like three more drones. Oh my God, he's going to get another one. He kills another drone over here. Effort is in shambles right now. Losing another mutalist here. And he's got no mining back at home. 17 total drones. Dude. Speed has done it. Another scrappy wild game out of him. And he is in a fantastic position here. One that is definitely winnable. Even if Effort manages to drag it to the late game. He should be in a, such a, uh, an advantage that even Effort uh, won't be able to take him out. Maybe Effort goes for just an all-in here. Considering that that's the case, maybe he just continues to make only mutas. No, he's going to make some drones. He's going to try and get out of this bad, bad position. He's going to try and find his way back onto the path here. Um, It's going to be so tough for him, man. He lost so many drones in that bust. I really thought that the two sunken colonies were going to hold everything. And that the mutas popping out were going to, you know, help out. But... Um, turns out not enough those two sunken colonies and even killing off the eBay and not allowing that to build for such a long time isn't going to matter too much. It's not going to affect this game so much. I thought that that Ling was going to be MVP, man. I was about to give him a give him a medal, a gold star there for all the work that he did in that Terran main, but Speed still managed to make it happen in such a crazy, crazy style. Now, the Mitas are still pretty scary here. We're going to get in between the rallies. Oh, this is just all naked Marines. Dive on that. Um, especially coming up the ramp. That's a great place to just uh, attack into all these Marines and finish them off. But back at home, he actually doesn't have anything. He's got one sunken colony about to finish. So he does have to pull back all of these Mitas. And try to defend over here at the natural. Meanwhile, a that, that group of uh, naked marines is actually going to head over to the top right. 
effort has figured out where that or sorry speed has figured out where that base of effort is and he's gonna be able to send everything up there and potentially just wipe that out before effort can do anything about it he hasn't seen the uh rally come through for speed but he doesn't know that these marines are making their way up here to the top right he's just gonna target down the hatchery this is a great play by uh speed well effort he was thinking about coming up here to try to save this but he's realized that this is not going to be a possibility so he sends all of his mutalists across the map let's see what he can do here he's got 11 healthy mutas with not too many marines here can effort make this happen he is right on the ropes dangerously close to being knocked out of this game taking some fights here over the turrets clearing out a lot of these marines but look at how smart speed is he's built so many turrets oh my god he's just gonna break this four turrets and a bunch of marines and we're just gonna go for it here that's not many mutalists remaining and a lot of them are incredibly low hp if he gets lucky and the turrets do not target the low health marines maybe he can make this work back at home he's got two sunken colonies it's just pure marines those are the marines that killed the base in the top right they cannot break two sunken colonies man they need medic support so i think that uh effort He's not going to be broken at home, and he's dealing a lot of damage here in the main. Watching this Mutalus health, it's getting lower and lower, but he's got more Mutas joining the fray here, and the turrets are falling. He's on top of the barracks. Can he make it work right now? This is so, so close. We've got the armory about to finish. Can he prevent it? Oh, he just barely prevents the armory. Can he prevent it again? He does. No. Not able to prevent that armory. He missed the shot there. Only a couple of the Mutalus fired. Really, really frustrating stuff there for uh, effort as the Valkyrie is about to start here, I think. The Valkyrie should be started. There it is. Does get started here. The uh, Marines are very, very low uh, on that HP. They don't have any medic support. Once again, just naked Marines here. He stims again. These Marines are so low. He could dive on top of this. One medic pops out. He's going to be able uh, to fight this, I think. These Marines are so low. Just fight them fight them they're so low just dive on that he is gonna dive in and start to fight that the marine number is low but look at how quickly these marines just disappear the mutas coming in to reinforce but a valkyrie does pop out there's two turrets here to work with as well so i don't think he can control this area great micro there on the valkyrie just clearing the mutalus off he was hoping to be able to control all of the barracks here but just barely not able to make that happen he gets forced back and it appears like speed will stabilize with just 25 scvs though he's been damaged so brutally here that we're actually almost caught up in the number of drones overall and speed another drone gonna head out for effort dude this game has just been completely reset here i feel by like several minutes we were so close to an ending, but it's going to be just a few Valkyries getting pushed out while Lurker Aspect uh, is underway here for Effort. Effort looking to snipe a Valkyrie. If he can get a Valkyrie, he can delay the move out timing here for speed. And if he delays the move out timing long enough, Lurkers will be present. Lurkers will be available to shut this down even further. There's the Scourge little bit rough there for effort scourge popped out at the wrong angle they were not able to connect another round of scourge here he's still gonna try for this can he get one of these two valkyries a third pops out he's gonna start to pressure the barracks here try and force effort to come back and or try to force speed to come back and take some shots with these uh, valkyries he actually gets great shots volleys off and does not take any damage from the scourge this is big this is very very big looks like effort actually gonna fight the valkyries straight up right now which is never a great plan and they are gonna get wiped clean here all of the mutas of J uh, of effort are gonna end up going down it looks like and meanwhile at the natural getting broken here gg is called speed takes this game home what an incredible high octane tvz guys i don't think that this series disappoints let me know in the comments below what you think of these crazy tvz games you want to see more of them make sure to hit the like button that's it for now thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one